Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Uh, today we're going to look at the White Ornate series from the House of Playing Cards. Now, uh, these cards were designed by Randy Butterfield. Uh, he's the mastermind behind the Midnight Card Company. Uh, you might remember that he did Imperial. Uh, he did the first United Cardist deck. And uh, he had previously done another set of Ornates that were uh, more black in nature. Uh, this set is a bright and colorful set. Um, it's a beautiful deck of playing cards. It's inspired by Baroque design. So a lot of your images are going to be vibrant, striking, and just really beautiful. Uh, as you can see, uh, this series came in five different colors. This was a Kickstarter that uh, House of Playing Cards did, HOPC. And so uh, they came in both branded and unbranded sets. And so there was uh, Scarlet, Sapphire, Emerald, Amethyst, and the Black Obsidian, which was a stretch goal. The Ornates are some of the most unique uh, decks in the world of modern playing cards. They're highlighted by beautiful fans, just really elaborate details throughout and detailed borders on the back and front of every single card. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to back these um, from Kickstarter, uh, it's unknown kind of right now if they'll be available to you in the future. Uh, I do know the project was kind of like the finale of the Ornates, and so uh, they may very well be sold out. For this review, since there were five of these decks, we are only going to look at one of them. Uh, we will be looking at the blue deck, or the Sapphire deck. The tuck on these, uh, first of all, they, I have the branded version, so it's going to say bicycle across the front. Um, it says trusted since 1885. It says ornate and white sapphire. Uh, the front and back has a slight uh, bit of embossing on it. There is a custom tuck seal. And uh, the cool thing about this is each deck in the limited bicycle set shares a connective design that follows the curve of the bicycle logo, and it forms kind of like a... A seamless kind of wave when all four of them are placed side by side, which I'll show you right now. So real quick, these are the faces of all four tuck cases. These are the backs of all four tuck cases. This is what all four tuck cases look like from the side. This is what all four tuck cases look like from the other side. This is what all four tuck cases look like from the other side. Here's a close-up of the blue and red foil that's on the inside of their tuck cases. Stock on these cards are very similar to the previous Ornates. Um, it is a retail stock with a modern cut. It has air cushion linen embossing and a magic finish. And if you'd like to learn more about finish or embossing, you can click the link below in the description. The side says designed by Midnight Card Company and the other side says United States Playing Card Company. At the bottom there is some ad copy for HOPC, the House of Playing Cards. And the back, of course, shows a design of what the back of the cards looks like. The other cool thing is each deck, depending on its color, has a uh, metallic insert uh, running along the inside of the tuck case. So that's pretty much it for these tuck cases. Let's look at these cards. First thing you'll see about the back design is there is a very thin micro uh, border. It's kind of like a uh, little brown uh, hound's tooth stripe. But also there's these little half circles. And what that does is in a spread, or even when the deck is assembled together, you kind of get this cigar band um, illusion of the pattern wrapping around all the way around the tuck. So that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, the back design is really ornate. Um, it's these mixes of color um, back with the, the brown border. There's kind of like a, a, I don't want to call it an eye, but there's an eye looking circle uh, there in the center, which kind of repeats this half circle, circle, half circle kind of flow to it that kind of creates that same cigar band illusion. Um, again, it's all this broke imagery, really elaborate, um, just really beautiful. I really like it a lot. Um, the cool thing about the faces of these decks, and just to kind of keep them consistent with the first edition, is the uh, four colors are broken down into two partner sets. So the Sapphire and Scarlet deck, okay, so blue and red, they share the face card design. So you're going to have blue and gold for the clubs and spades, and red and silver for the hearts and diamonds. Now, the Amethyst and the Emerald faces, or the purple, fa the purple cards and the green cards, they share colors too. So they have a green gold for the clubs and spades and a purple silver for the hearts and diamonds. And so all of the face cards have this new two-tone uh, pips and they utilize a new pip layout in the numeric cards. 
With the white ornates, you're going to get uh, a few unique cards. The first of which is you're going to get two unique jokers. Uh, you're going to get a blue joker and a red joker. It's basically just a jester puppet on a stick, and it says joker in each corner. Um, other than that, they're both um, identical, aside from the coloring. You're going to get an HOPC, House of Playing Cards, ad card, and the back design is the back design of the deck. And then you're going to get this double backer gaff, um, which is a half blue, half red, or half uh, amethyst, half scarlet um, back design. And so, I don't know, maybe you could do some sort of cool uh, magic trick with that. I haven't really quite played around with it yet. Like I said earlier, uh, the pips, the layout, all the fonts, um, the design work, all of it is completely original. Um, there's even kind of a watermark uh, shadow behind uh, the pips there, kind of like this four quadrant uh, diamond shape made up of squares. Um, even the court cards, completely original and redrawn and redesigned. And I'll give you a closer look at those cards right now. So I just want to steal the camera real quick and show you a couple of the features of this deck. Here is the back design of the blue deck. Here are a few of the aces. Here are the two jokers. And here are a couple of the court cards. And of course, you can always use your own camera controls to pause and take a closer look. Well, that's it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so that other people can find it a little bit faster. You can subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. You can follow us on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy. You can also like our page on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.